Hello everyone, my name is Peter, and welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 narrative let's play. We did a lot in the last episode. We got in a bar fight in Valentine. We went hunting with Hosea and almost got killed by a bear. We were able to rescue Sean from some bounty hunters from Blackwater, and we rescued Reverend Swanson from doing some dumb stuff with a train. So let's get right into it. Morning, Arthur. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. When's this going to end? You got some speaking to do of your own. About that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I, I told you, mister, I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll's holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Combe? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. 
Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. See, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know... You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out to survive like them? You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John! Shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Whoa! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you. 
every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first feller. Okay, go to work. Morgan, the next two. What's the plan? Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out in the distance. I can do that. Hurry up, all right. Good work. We went on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Arthur! Feller on the log. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us, then. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Time to move on him. You ready? As I'll ever be. Let's go. How you doing, I'm Driscoll? Get in the camp! Get in the camp! Oh, we move quick! We move hard! You are lying there, little toad! Check it. Search out here. Make sure we ain't missed anything. Ah! <laughs> 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 
You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Como oh, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Howdy do. <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen. Sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Hey there. 
Hello. Hey, listen! I just wanted to say... I know you bastards Arthur. missed me. Oh, Arthur! <laughs> hey, you seem in a good Even mood. You, I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Well, Let's enjoy ourselves. Home, we having a party? So Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Is back. And don't you worry, Mr. Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. So I'll keep on. them girls Let's in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Is you a bump on the head? <sighs> and don't you worry, Mr. Yeah, Pearson, you drunk old too. shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest the game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <sighs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun! <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Evening. Uh -oh, Evening, Morgan. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, oh, fine okay. folks? All right. Evening, Arthur. How are you doing? I'm good. Some of them here, they've treated me all right. Imagine riding with them all the way from Black Good for you. Here. All right, then. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what's that? Oh, let him have some fun. <laughs> He's been through a lot. You know I thought you Irish enjoyed a enjoy party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I well, just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Mark, well, what I do say. And she was mistress of her trade. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. <laughs> it's a good one. When I was in the army, she said, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? 
You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. 
There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Since they left, Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. shoot those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <laughs> it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get it out of here. Oh, just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money, that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh, yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No, no. Now, you remember where you 
keeping that silver. Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. It's very valuable, good. Not good yet. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Nie rób tego! I need! I must eat! Proszę! Okay, that should about cover things. It always got to be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn manners. Son of a bitch. At least hit me properly. Come on, that's good You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Ha <laughs> ha, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Arthur. What you want? <laughs> Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> things. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. 
I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. That is where we will leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you have any questions or want an explanation on any story points, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.